Hi, I'm Stan Rosenberg, uh, State Senator for the Hampshire Franklin District, and this is the first of 25 short videos capturing some of the fun projects and accomplishments that my staff and I have been able to achieve over these last 25 years uh, as I've served in the legislature, first in the House and since 1991 in the Senate. And the first story I'd like to tell is about uh, office hours. Uh, you read in the newspapers often that uh, legislators hold office hours. And you may wonder what actually goes on there. Well, uh, most of the time people come in and uh, share their opinions or share their problems and ask for your assistance or your advice. And on one particular day, uh, when I still represented Granby, uh, when I came into office hours, there was already a family there, a mother, father, and a young boy. Uh, who was preschool, and uh, they were the Uricues, and they sat down and told me the story of Jennifer, their daughter who was in school and therefore couldn't be at the office hours. But Jennifer was uh, delivering newspapers at the time for the Holyoke Transcript. That's a paper that's gone out of business since. But uh, she was a very reliable uh, news carrier and, uh, and served a, uh, an apartment complex that was mainly senior citizens. And of course, she looked forward to doing it, and the seniors looked forward to seeing her, and they'd often greet her with a cookie or a glass of milk. And, and she developed some really nice friendships there. And one day, instead of finding her newspapers at the end of the family's driveway, she found her supervisor. And the supervisor handed her a letter and said, I'm sorry to tell you this, Jennifer, but unfortunately, you're not going to be able to deliver newspapers anymore. Uh, you're not going to be able to continue in your job. And the reason was because there was a state law that said you had to be at least 12 years old to deliver newspapers, sell magazines, be a boot black or a scavenger. Yes, that's from very old statute and statutory language. So Jennifer was crushed that day, and uh, so she did not get to deliver her newspapers. Shortly after, her parents showed up at office hours, explained the problem, and uh, we started the process of trying to amend the law. And uh, it, was, uh, it was about a four, six month uh, long journey of uh, trying to convince the members of the Labor and Workforce Development Committee that uh, youngsters as young as eight or nine years old should be allowed to uh, deliver newspapers. Jennifer at the time was eight. I was uh, asking for it to go all the way down to eight and uh, was unable to convince the chairs of the committee to go to eight, but I was able, after I lined up 81 votes in the House, to convince her to go to nine years old. And long story short, uh, first change in child labor laws in the Commonwealth in many, many decades was made that year so that Jennifer and uh, other nine-year-olds, uh, with permission of their parents and permission of, uh, permission of the superintendent of schools, could uh, deliver newspapers. In Jennifer's case, she was saving up for a bicycle, and that was uh, her way of earning money to uh, uh, have a bicycle, and so she learned the work ethic. She was a reliable uh, employee, and uh, she was able to reclaim her job after the law was changed. And, uh, and that's how Jennifer Yuriku lost her job, got her job back, and got her bicycle.